sad that I had that issue. I pushed the wrong button on the phone. I don't know if you noticed. So this is a continuation of our live stream. We were just looking at the Luminatus. We do that. So sorry about that. It uh, wait a second for people to join us. I'm just looking at this mail here. I can't believe uh, I somehow got disconnected because my thumb touched the button on the camera. Don't you hate it? Okay, somebody's back with us. Thank you. And I, I apologize, Jeff. You know, um, my thumb, I couldn't get, I couldn't re restart the, the, the stream. I don't know why. But um, in this case, it seems like there's always issues. I, I don't know what happened. Longfin Lagoon, we're back. I didn't know you were with us. And S2, welcome, welcome. So sorry about that. It was Red Laser too. Okay. Everybody, the, the team is back. And I'm sorry about that. It, I, my, I somehow pushed a button on the bottom of my phone and it just like disconnected. Turned everything off. I had to restart a new stream. I got to learn how to reset it so that it doesn't do that that's what i'd like to do i don't want that to happen anymore so we were looking at the luminatus and this was from sebastian if you get a chance to see it uh the females in here are doing really great i probably should put a mop oh yeah well long fan i wasn't looking at the uh, chats i was going to get to the chats now i can't even look at what was there so i'm sorry about that i was going to see if there was any questions and i was just about to do that but I didn't even see who, who was with us tonight so that that was a real bummer I'm sorry about that okay well it is what it is right so let's um, let me go back to uh, where we were at and I was showing off something from Sebastian and he, he gave me those uh, f those 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 suit mobile so I'm back into business so I breathe the fricatas very easily and um, the others are probably going to be about the same. Thank you very much. Oh, black rims. Okay, black rims. I, you know, I, I do have some black rims outside, you know, in the garage. Maybe I can find some for you. <laughs> okay. I'm pretty sure you meant black rims. Yeah, I, the thing of it is, you know, I've got lots of black rims coming. And uh, obviously, it, they're just a week old right now. So for the rams to be sellable, I'm going to use the um, I'm going to use the I really am going to use the um, case of the electric blues. Now, in the case of the German blues, I mean, yeah, German blue rams. And I look over here to my. And I see I forgot another breeder box. This is another breeder box. Let me show you. Look at this. This is another makeshift breeder box for German blue rams. Yep. <laughs> I don't know what's going on around here. I got I got so many spawns. This is from pair eight. Okay. So I forgot to show this one. Completely forgot. They're just eggs. They're supposed to hatch on uh, Saturday. So anyways, I look over here. The German blues, these fish here... Let me turn the light on. You can't even see them because I don't usually have the light on. They just use the room lights. But these, these are the ones that will next be sold. Now these are three and a half. These are these are pushing around four months old. Okay. If this gives you any indication, and today is a beginning of May, so May, June, July, August. So these, these, if they hatch. If I have these German blues like here hatched in this in this bottle right here, they're going to be look like this in August, right? Around August. But the electric blues grow so much slower that they will look like this. Let's go over here. They will look like this in eight months. They're, they're just starting to breed. So whereas the German blues will start to breed in my fish room 
at four months, four and a half months, these guys, these guys are closer to eight months. Now, if there's any indication due to the fact that they're inbred and and they're just bred the way they are, I, I have to say that the black rams will likely be, more likely be, closer to eight months from now. I really think so. Give you some shots of uh, some of the breeders here. Beautiful fish. These are the ones that got their uh, fins a little torqued out. Female. Just gorgeous fish. You know, there's something about uh, the German blues I've always loved since I was a kid. Just gorgeous fish. But anyway, um, um, to answer the question, if you want some of these black rams, you're going to have to wait. I'm, I'm guessing eight months, but... Let's let's just say six. What's six months from now? May, June, July, August, September, October. So it's all an investment, but it's not going to come and pay, start paying in uh, um, until October. Now the gold rams, Jeff. That's a good question because with the gold rams, I noticed that their size is different that this just proves my point they do grow slower and that's what i was thinking <laughs> yeah long thin lagoon i know who you are i've been a friend of malik's for a long time too and i watch all his live streams or not all of them but you know i watch a lot of most of them some of them uh i skip but let me let me show you something looking at the gold rams in here and looking at the black counterparts, these are all from the same batch, all from the same pair. But genetically, there's something going on because, let's see if I can focus, there we go, okay, I had it. I had it, come on, it, almost. There we go, perfect, okay. Now, before I lose you on the internet, the spot seems to be always losing it. But you'll notice that the gold rams are bigger. They're definitely bigger. In my, when I look at them with the naked eye, they are much bigger than the others. So you know what that means? Stephen Truth Seeker, what does that mean? Hello. It means to me that we got the situation where um, the black rams do grow slower they're growing as slow as uh, the electric blues but the gold rams genetically for some reason that gene is growing like the German blue so now this raises a couple of questions should I at a very early age try to separate them so that the bigger ones don't out compete the lesser that's something that might 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 happen poor lone gold ram oh that's so sad because I couldn't find any gold rams anywhere in any of the stores and I always check them out and there was one time that fanatics had them and they, they were kind of like to me at the time it was like two or three in the tank after everybody picked them over so at that time it was like they weren't the quality I, I was looking for so I, I passed on those but if it's true that these are gold rams and they are dominant gold rams, then the truth is I should be able to breed gold rams. But, but, but wait a minute, you know, why do I need gold rams to breed if my black rams are going to keep producing them? So I'm always going to get a side, side effect that if 20 or 40 percent or less than half are coming out gold and if they're growing faster they'll probably be more hardier than the black rams and they'll probably do very well I'm gonna have batches to sell they're just gonna be gold rams from black rams that's all it is and if you breed them together you might get uh, it's possible you could get a black ram out of them 
maybe not a midnight dark ram. So that brings me to a very interesting point, and uh, I'm working on something, and there's only eight of us now connected, and of course, if you're watching the replay, play the replay, and uh, I know you hit the thumbs up on the last one that we were doing, but if you haven't had a chance, go ahead and hit it again for this one. This is the, the continuation. Sorry about that. But it, uh, I am, I am seriously thinking about having a live stream once a month on the subject of genetics of rams. And there's a few people that I would like to invite mm -hmm. to this discussion. And um, that particular discussion is, is going to maybe be very beneficial for those who are interested. Mm -hmm. So I think it might be a discussion of people who are a discussion of genetics with people who have an interest in that and that's why i don't think i would live stream more than once a month you know it would be something just to take a look at monthly and i don't know if um uh, if that means it means that there would be an interest in, i'll have to kind of feel it out but we might try it and uh so that would be like a special live stream dealing with that subject and that subject alone and then um, we could uh, do it or repeat it maybe on a monthly basis. Maybe the, I'm thinking like, you know, like the first Saturday of the month and uh, keeping it something like that. But anyway, it's an idea I have. Leave your comment below if you think that's a um, worthy goal or something worthwhile. If there's anybody out there interested in such a thing. And especially uh, get down to some of the real basics of how things work with genetics when it comes to these fish and uh, the application of general knowledge of genetics. I know I have some people well in mind. And of course, my year, you're one of them. And uh, so we're going to have to talk about that. So then finally, um, before um, I close, let me check to see what the comments are. Let me check this time, this time before I lose everything. Uh, just connect, okay, has there been any questions? Yeah, we need more Germans and electrics too. You already have black rams. Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, we need more Germans and electrics. Well, there's no shortage of those around here. And uh, answer Jeff about the gold rams. and I can't believe you're with us. Truth Seeker is with us tonight at 3 a.m. Ooh, ouch. You must be across the pond. And let's see. No one locally is selling or breeding. Eventually, I will master breeding them to supply a few stories with about a two-hour drive. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Yeah, of course, you know. Uh, that's one thing, Jeff, that I'm sure... I have been able to share with you and give you some good feedback on different things on how to breed these fish. And you could do it for your local area too. And actually anybody who's watching my live streams can learn a lot from those and um, do great. It's really something. Oh, LRB, yes, thank you. And you know, LRB is setting up shop at his new house and everything. I was kind of, you know, going in and out a few live streams here and there, but, uh, yeah, it's interesting to see somebody moving into a new home and have all those things and, and exciting things happening. I think Malik, too, is moving into his new house and he's got exciting things to share and see. I like to focus on the fish and uh, the breeding of the fish. So just to share with you, um, for all of you who stayed to the end, uh, and, and thank you. Thank you very much, Stefan, for sticking and choosing, choosing my channel to, to listen in. And to see some things. Um, oh, uh, Jeff, you talk about quality. Let me tell you a story. You know, I, I, I've been selling great German blue rams to the local fish store, the one on Dixie called Fanatics, and uh, they 
they uh, purchased quite a few from me and were getting them regularly, but they had a shipment from uh, Singapore come in late, lately. So I guess maybe they were offering them super cheap and thought, well, why not? So they ordered some German blue rams. So if you go over there right now and you go check out their rams, I look at them and I look at them and I said, those are not my rams. He said, that is one of the workers there. Yeah, those, those came in with the latest Singapore order. And um, I looked and I says, these aren't as nice as mine. These, these, these don't have color. They, they, they look very shabby. They were sold a little too young. They hadn't really developed. They weren't popping their colors and they were just kind of still young. I could tell they were probably, they were probably three months old, <laughs> three months old. Mine are more like in the neighborhood of four months. So, you know, you, you order them from afar and you get younger ones or the ones that they have and they come in, they come in sometimes not as desirable. Local breeders, if they know what they're doing and they take pride in their work, they're going to um, polish the fish a little bit, really beef them up, make them super sellable and offer them to the local fish store and get a, a, a decent price because the fish earn it. So that that's our goal here at Fish Easy and uh, it's been working out great for that and, I bet, and now I still retain my reputation because once they get the Singapore fish they look at they look at them and then they compare them to what I give them and I'm I'm sure I've got them I got lined up to sell them more in the future so it's a fish that always sells so uh, it's going you know it's going uh, a few more months I'll have more to sell I uh, can give them another hundred in 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 another another uh, month or two when they sell those out from Singapore so anyway, that's that's the story. But I want to share all of you. There's um, almost now as many as there were before the uh, stream cut out. And what we're what I'm going to do is share with you a surprise. This week uh, I picked up uh, a new species in the fish room, a new cichlid, and um, I'm going to pop a. It, it's a kind of a rare fish, so it's not a fish that is commonly found and uh, very rare does it show up on the lists and so this is the um, um, well let me show you take a look and uh, they just I think they're basically in quarantine but they're usually right here in the front here they are oh they're shy they're camera shy anybody know what these are look at them Pretty nice. They're definitely a cichlid. They kind of remind you of a, of a dwarf cichlid. Well, they are a dwarf cichlid. Oh, you're here, Mayur. You're here. I thought maybe you were just lurking. Yes, we, we got to be talking. Yes, those are checkerboards or Dicrosis maculatus. And there's the name for you, in case you're wondering. Maculatus. Yeah. And, uh,. Okay, you just got on. I was just signing out, showing my new new cichlids for the week. So I, I picked up what, um, who knows if there's three pair in here, there's six fish. But uh, as always, I pick up a good little number of them so that I can um, get a definite pair or two and see what we can go. Yes, indeed. So Mike's, Mike's back. I'm glad you did. Um, I got these and uh, he only got 20 in it. <laughs> you beat me to it. Well, that's why I'm Michael Beat. <laughs> so he, here, are these little uh, checkerboards uh, are in good shape. They're looking good, super nice, um, and young. So there's, there's still I got to put. There, these are also the spade tail maculatus. There is a lyre tail also that's more common, and those um, are a different species name but uh, these are the spade tails so I'm glad I got them I, I jumped on it when I when I was told I think Mike told me that they they uh, were coming in so I jumped on it while I could so here they are and uh, we'll see what they can do in the fish room I might get some tanks and if I get pairs and see how well they do uh, over here I still um, am just amazed at the colors 
of these fish, although they're so camera shy. But this, the, these fish, I just love the colors of these epistogrammas. These epistogrammas, look at him. He's got colors. And he shows it off too. And this is in poor lighting. I do not bright light these fish because they don't like bright lights. But they are gorgeous. This is a, uh, a male. And uh, the female is a little smaller. But she also has some beautiful colors. Look at the red in his tail. So this is... Uh, in fact, I haven't seen the, is the female back in the corner? She might be hiding, yeah, she's back in the corner under that sponge. I see her now. Hmm. But what a great uh, pair. This is the um, McMasteri. McMasteri. Nice, nice fish. So we'll see how they do in the fish room too. So it looks like um, I'm getting some Sandy on lunch break. Ooh, thank you for joining. And um, so we just looked at the um, Dicrosis Maculatus, the, the spade tail checkerboard cichlid, and um, kind of a rare fish. And we hope to get some. They're, they're gonna. It's gonna be tricky because they do require some low pH, uh, perhaps softer water conditions in order to feel comfortable and breed. So. But uh, we can handle that around here, can't we? So if, please give a thumbs up to the um, the video, and if you definitely, if you are on the replay crew, please leave a comment. I will respond to all comments. So now, just to give an idea, uh, now now Roman's joining. You know, it's funny. It must be did the ball game just finish? <laughs> Everybody's kind of joining on as we're leaving, but. Uh, I, I just showed, go watch the replay of, uh, unfortunately, the live stream kind of fell and it kind of went dead because I clicked the button on my phone and cut myself off. Not a good thing. I got to learn how to fix the button so they don't do that or learn where they're at so they don't push them by accident. But it was great being with you. And if there's any more questions, yeah, yeah, please. Play the, the, if you want to see some great shots, some thought, talk on all the little babies I have. Thir I think there's 13, but then I discovered a couple more. So there's actually one, two, three. I'm working with actually 16 bottles or breeder boxes. I'm makeshifting them out of critter cages and, and Costco nut jars plastic nut, you know, plastic nut bottles. I mean, I've just run out. I've got a couple large ones I could use next if I got some more spawns, but this week has been a bumper crop. I think this week it has been I, I well over just black rams alone. I think there's uh, close to, to uh, six to eight hundred hatchlings that come out so far. So we'll see if we can get even a good percentage of those to um, sellable stage by six months from now. So it takes time. And we'll watch that progress here on Fish Easy. So as time goes on, join us again. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe so that you don't miss out on the live streams. I'm going to also be doing, I would really like to, to form a means of communication and tell everybody and being able to, I, I don't know the best way to do it, and to tell everybody, hey, I'm going to live stream in 30 minutes. And just to give a heads up so that you know. I don't know the best way if it's through a uh, Facebook group chat. Or if it's somehow, I just want to, it's not for discussion. It's just something to send out an announcement. And I don't know, and maybe Sandy, you can give me some back, some thoughts on that. What would be the best way? For example, in your case, how do you um, get instant messages, like, apart from, you know, yeah, FishTuber's notification option. Uh, YouTube, yeah, there is a notification option, but not even, but in my case, for example, um, I'm subscribed and I click the bell, but I don't always get, 
Uh, Sinan Farrell, welcome. And that's a good suggestion too. What I could do is uh, post a in the community tab. Do, do you all get that? Do, does it pop up on your phone and say, oh, you know, you just got a message? That's the question. I just, how do I give the best heads up to people? Those are all suggestions. I could try those in addition if there's something else that I could try. But I just, it used to be, I used to get emails, notifications when somebody went live to my inbox, but uh, YouTube did away with that. My notifications now are not email. I think they're just trying to get away from the idea of, okay. Oh, schedule a notification. Okay, that's true. You, you could you could ske schedule the notification so it would be like automatically pop up. Okay, if if I know in advance that that's another great suggestion. Thank you so much, everyone, for your suggestions. Um, in the future, or the thoughts for the future, just think about it. I have um, I have uh, next week. They're very likely by next week. I will have an opportunity to show you, I'm hoping, if it works out, um, the expansion of Fish Easy and the tanks that I have for grow out and uh, maybe they'll be in place and maybe there'll be some water in them. <laughs> yeah, and uh, thank you, Roman. Yeah, maybe you do have to set up notifications on your phone. You do definitely have to have it so that you accept notifications, that's for sure. So next week, um, I may even be showing or showing you tanks that are um, not in this fish room, but in a, my other extended fish room. So yeah, it's, it's going to be nice. Can you imagine having a 50 gallon tank and putting uh, 400 uh, rams in there to grow up? That would be so much nicer than what I've been doing. So let's see, what else? Um, uh, that's the next week and oh, and this week, don't forget, I did see a video and uh, that's our dear um, friend up north from here. He uh, put out a video on sort of, um, um, it's Stubbs, Stub Aquatics and Stub Aquatics uh, has a, re a recent little video out and he's He's doing uh, a comparison or showing off some some products, so it, I thought that was something to mention. That was a video I, I enjoyed. Um, who else? Anything else? Just sort of announcements. I've, I've watched different... Been busy this week, haven't had a chance to watch too many. There's been some live streams. I always listen to live streams. Um, sometimes I'm listening to Corey, yeah. Sometimes I'm listening to... Uh, I'm Malik and others and while I'm doing other things in the background uh, live streams are one thing but if there's a good video like in the case of Chris Stubbs he puts out a video it's not a live stream but an actual okay there's a point to it and our subject and he goes over that I, I like that so those are the ones I'm really focusing on or trying to share just to mention it there's also a feature on YouTube that I'm going to utilize in the future I've never used it and from what I understand, you actually can do a um, premiere. Like for example, we're doing a live stream right now. When I hit the close button or when I finish the live stream, it goes right into the premiere. So in other words, it takes you right, boom, to the premiere. And that's when the, the premiere is released. It's at the end of the live stream, at the moment that it ends. It's not published before or anything like that. So that's kind of neat. I've never tried that, so I think in the future I'm going to do that. That way I can give a little introduction to the video and talk about it and how I, it was made and so forth. And then it won't be live until the moment I stop talking. So I think that's kind of a neat thing. You, 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 you can introduce your video and then of course at that point it becomes available to everybody from there henceforth. So. But I think that's a great way of doing it instead of like just scheduling a time or just hitting the uh, up, you know, available immediately. Well, 
I've talked uh, quite a bit tonight, and I've got some things to do in the fish room tonight and relax a little bit for a Friday night. I'm sorry to take up your time, so I won't likely be live streaming tomorrow or this weekend because of this, because of the situation of um, the, the, the work at the expansion of Fish Easy. And that, that's the reason why I'm just kind of can't, can't be here. But um, um, I wanted to, sh to show you the, all those babies and all those fry that are coming up. And I thought it would be really great. So that's what I'm doing. Just giving you a chance to see and take a real close look at the black rams a as they're coming up. And we'll continue to do that on a weekly basis. So that's it for tonight. Thank you so much. Again, hit the thumbs up and uh, uh, appreciate all the support as you continually do. And the lights just went out. Must be 1015. My fish room lights just changed. And that's how it operates around here. And then I, if I'm still feeding the fish, which I'm going to do now, I'm going to feed those fry boxes with that um, BBS. And I'm going to do, uh, uh, let's see, Alexa. Fish room on. I'm back. So all the lights just came back. So good night, all. Thank you very much, and most of all, keep it real.